Hey YouTubers, welcome back to AZ2 Ozarks. I wanted to show you our build of the chicken coop using our milled lumber. However, I somehow went ahead and lost the video of the intro for this. So I'm gonna show you as much as I can, but the bottom line is we need a chicken coop for our laying hens because we had another batch of uh, Cornish cross meat birds coming in and we needed them out of the brooder so that we could use the brooder for the Cornish cross. So here is our video of building our chicken coop out of milled lumber. So now we have the base all nailed in place and obviously the four posts are there. And then at the floor level, we put these. So you can see we're on a slope here. We're sloping downhill. So let me get a good angle here. There you go. So it looks like it's crooked, but that's actually very level. <laughs> we went around with the level and we're probably building this thing way nicer than it needs to be. But Rick's kind of a perfectionist like that. And so we certainly use the Pythagorean theorem in order to get this perfectly square. So don't let anyone tell you that the Pythagorean theorem is useless. So we had A squared plus B squared equaled C squared. And so each of these sides were 109 inches. And I believe that one was 155 um, for the angle. But this is nice and sturdy and strong. We've got the floor joists in. And now he is blocking for stability. And we will be leaving a space open in the center because you can see that two plywood boards have been affixed here. They're already um, nailed down on there. But we will be leaving a hole in the center for a ramp. And then the chickens can walk down a little ramp and get to the underneath and the ground level. That's not a chicken. Hey, Murphy. The guys ended up putting the hole in the floor on one side for the ladder to go down for the chickens. That way, so if we're inside of the coop, um, cleaning it out and things like that. We don't have to walk around something in the very center. They've got the top on here now. And let me see if I can get level. There we go. So you see it slopes down. That'll help keep uh, rain and snow sliding off. And they're working on bracing that roof now. We do have a cool snap coming in today, and it's actually supposed to snow this evening. Here we are in the middle of April, but it's kind of wild. A friend had actually told me that his grandmother used to say that if you had February thunderstorms, you would get May frost. And it's sounding like she may have been pretty accurate as, um, we definitely had big thunderstorms in February, and here in the middle of April, we're definitely getting some frost, two nights of frost. 
Well guys, here it is. Our chicken coop built out of our very own milled lumber. Of course, with the exception of the paneling and the plywood, obviously those aren't things that we milled ourselves. But you can see below here, there is a chicken wire section where the chickens can roam. Let me see if I can show you their cool little ramp. So there's their little ramp over there that they can climb up into the main house. And they just moved over here. So they're still a little bit um, unsettled. And we actually put the turkeys in as well because the turkeys have been breaking out of their brooder box. Last night um, they broke out and they were in the trailer and making a mess everywhere. And they are supposed to have higher protein feed but right now they're going to have chicken feed just because I can't, um, I can't have them in the brooder and we don't have another place quite ready for them yet. So the guys put up um, some perches that the chicks can all sit on. And there aren't brooder boxes yet, but we still have about two months before the chickens are ready to lay. So there's another perch for them. And there's their little opening. So there's a door. We can cover it up if we want to keep them in. And there's their opening where they can go down the ramp and check out the outdoors. And there's another of their perches. So it was pretty cool. My father-in-law and mother-in-law came into town. And my father-in-law helped the guys um, complete this. We just painted the floor yesterday. And so we will be painting the walls. It's just one of those things um, we got... 25 more Cornish cross meat birds chicks and we needed them to go into the brooder so these guys had to come out here and so it's not quite finished it's a work in progress but I'm really excited that we have this big chicken coop ready for them now and it was built out of our very own trees so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I wasn't able to film it step by step as much as I would have liked to, but there were other projects that I had to be working on and between rainstorms and everything else, we were just squeezing in work as we could. So unfortunately it's not a build video, but at least you get to see the outcome here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to keep following our adventure.